like the leap from propeller to jet, the next great step is upon us in military aviation. And this one is a little more terrifying. After all, it's replacing the pilot with silicon. Introducing the Loyal Wingman, the next generation of military aircraft that is going to literally take the man out of the pilot seat. New drones like the Turkish Bayraktar have literally changed the tide of war and their role in the future cannot be ignored. The technology is quickly reaching the point where it's more effective to operate a fleet of droned aircraft than meat-based fighter pilots. But does this herald a golden age or are we simply setting ourselves up for real-life Terminator? Let's jump into it. Drones go back farther in time than you might realize. The first military drone-like object were the balloon bombs that Field Marshal von Radeski of Austria used to attack Venice. Rather unsuccessfully, I might add, in 1849. Some very famous people have been associated with early drone technology as well. For example, Alfred Nobel, the Swedish inventor of dynamite, launched a rocket with a camera on it in 1896, which is believed to be the first time that cameras were placed on an unmanned object. And then in 1898, the inventor, Nikola Tesla, yes, that Tesla, displayed a remote-controlled boat at Madison Square Garden in New York City. The crowds present at the time thought that Tesla was a magician or that a trained monkey was operating the craft. Tesla's flying boat was the precursor to remote control aircraft, which in turn were the daddies of drones as we know them today. It was the British that invented a low-cost radio-controlled drone in 1935, which was developed for aerial target practice by the Royal Air Force pilots. It was called the de Havilland DH-82B Queen Bee Aircraft, which is where the nickname drones comes from and is considered the first modern drone. The technology for drones or unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs as they're now technically known has grown enormously in recent years. Their capabilities have become increasingly sophisticated. Importantly, drones are being developed to be used in lockstep with manned aircraft such as jet fighters. This emerging class of super smart drones are known as the Loyal Wingman are already being tested and their role with 6th generation fighter jets is of particular interest. So what exactly makes drones so darn fantastic? Over time, UAVs or drones have evolved to include missions such as manned and unmanned teaming, aerial refueling, electronic warfare, and other modes of military-related functionality. In fact, just recently, the US performed the first mid-air refueling with a drone aircraft, breaking ground in the class's utility. UAVs come in all sizes, ranging from hard launch line of sight craft weighing less than 6.5 pounds or 3 kilograms to huge drones with high altitude, long endurance surveillance strike capabilities. A recent report stated that over 5,000 drone aircraft will be built by the year 2027 in over 101 countries as part of their military operations. So far, there are around 50 or so development programs, but only a handful of nations have seen, air quotes, killer results. Top players include the world's military powers, such as the USA, China, Russia, EU, Israel, and the UK. But a surprising entry is also Australia, which we'll get to in a moment. The black horse of the race to build military drones is Turkey, who deployed its new TB2 Bayraktar very well in a recent conflict in the region. Some of the greatest benefits of drones with cutting-edge technologies are their formidable dexterity and capabilities in the air, with an always improving ability to track multiple opponents simultaneously, as well as provide excellent backup and reconnaissance of manned aircraft, including latest generation fighter jets. For example, absorbing enemy fire during live combat will be a further standout feature of the loyal wingman drones. We can't help but mention that the clear advantage of drones is that the pilot is still alive if anything happens. 
It can take up to five years to train a pilot and a further five to get them up to speed on the ever evolving technology, only to lose them in a single day. For many militaries, they suffer from a lack of skilled pilots, not a lack of planes. Drones are cheaper to use, quicker to deploy, and have no lifetime limit. Oh, and by the way, the Defensive Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, yes, the same folks that mostly invented the internet, ran simulated engagements between AI and fighter pilots in 2020. To put it mildly, the AI pilot tounced the human pilot. If the tests had been a tennis match, the AI would have won 6 0. So, why is development of these new drones speeding up? The loyal wingman programs have been so popular with the military because of the rapidness in which the drones can get developed. It's well known that the development process entailed with manned aircraft, especially fighter jets, is notoriously slow and clubblesome. And the process seems to be getting even more protracted. A lot of this time lag with developing manned fighter jets is due to the relentless safety testing that needs to be done so the jets can be flown with confidence by pilots. Not so in the case for unmanned craft such as the Loyal Wingman. These pilot-related mandatory safety features are not the issue for these drones. They are considered more expendable during testing in what the military terms as attrition. As such, the development turnaround times for loyal wingman models have tended to be phenomenally quick by comparison. For example, the Kratos XQ58 Valkyria drone first flew in 2019, a mere two and a half years after the contract was granted. Boeing's drone, known by the decidedly less sexy name of the Air Power Teaming System, or ATS, took just two years between mock-up in 2019 and first test flight in 2021. But there are some experts who believe that the loyal wingman would be better suited to what would be termed non-lethal force multipliers, working alongside the US Air Force fleet of manned aircraft. Nevertheless, the focus by the military is to make the Loyal Wingman drone class as combat ready as possible, particularly for upcoming 6th generation fighter jets. More on that later. So let's talk about the Boeing Wingman. The Boeing ATS, also referred to as the Loyal Wingman, is the epitome of a modern UAV, which means it's all about stealth and being multifunctional. Importantly, it serves the role of what is known as a force multiplier aircraft that can fly alongside manned planes. It can also be used for autonomous missions. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is integral to the central design philosophy and various capabilities of Boeing's loyal wingman. A key technical feature of this military drone is its modular mission package system, whereby its AI is located in its nose. The craft's nose can be quickly and easily removed and replaced with another nose having a completely different set of equipment or armament guidance systems. This means the loyal wingman can be quickly deployed for a variety of different and very specific missions, which can include combat, reconnaissance, and most specifically to this class of UAV, electronic warfare. The nose, by the way, is 2.5 meters or 8.2 feet long and offers a storage volume of more than 1.5 meters or 5 feet cubed. But what weapons will it carry? Uh, sorry to disappoint, but so far Boeing has been tight-lipped, leaving us only to speculate. Furthermore, another plus is that the fuselage is made of composite materials that use an advanced resin infusion process, which results in a lighter and more durable craft. The drone has an integrated onboard sensor package that should more than ably support its three core functions, namely intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, or ISR, as well as tactical early warning missions. Besides allowing the drone to fly independently or support a manned aircraft it accompanies, its inbuilt AI also ensures that it maintains a safe distance between itself and other aircraft at all times. The specifications of the Loyal Wingman include the following. Crew, none. 
Well, that should be obvious. Its length from tail end to nose tip is 11.7 meters or 38 feet and 5 inches, and it has a wingspan of 7.31 meters or 24 feet across. Lastly, its range is 3,700 kilometers or 2,000 nautical miles. Boeing claims that its loyal wingman will ultimately have a performance capable to that of a conventional fighter jet. In the words of Boeing, it will provide fighter-like performance. So why am I so excited about this aircraft in particular? Because of the Australian connection. A unique aspect about the Boeing's ATS or loyal wingman is that it's to be manufactured in my native Australia. Yep, the Boeing ATS or loyal wingman is gonna have a dash of good old Aussie flair. One of its roles in Australia will be to support the manned Royal Australian Air Force or the RAAF aircraft for both defense and surveillance purposes. These include the F-35A, the F-A-18F, and the E-78 aircraft. More than 35 Australian companies are to be involved in the production of Boeing's loyal wingman, including Boeing Australia, BAE Systems Australia, RUAG Australia, and Ferrara Engineering. It would also be the first time in more than 50 years that a fighter jet is to be made in Australia, so this is a big deal for the country and that it has shown its commitment to the project, with the Australian Royal Air Force ordering a total of six loyal wingman drones worth 115 million US dollars. And this aircraft was built fast. A full-scale mock-up of the Boeing ATS was first revealed at the 2019 Avalon Air Show. Boeing Australia then released images of a detailed prototype of the aircraft only a few months later in May 2020, with an accompanying video highlighting the drone's various operational capabilities. Testing for the loyal wingman then happened at a rapid rate. Boeing announced its first powered-up drone engine in September 2020, following on low-speed taxi tests only a few weeks later. It then performed a high-speed taxi test at a remote location in the middle of the desert in December 2020, which we all know is the top-secret Australian Area 51 that they don't want you to know about. These series of ground tests were used to validate the drone's navigation and pilot control systems. The all-important first flight test of the Loyal Wingman prototype took place on February 27, 2021 at the Woomera Range Complex located in South Australia. For the test, the drone completed a predetermined route at different speeds and altitudes before safely landing back at the base. It's reported that the drone was also able to successfully stop on command, so the functionality and integration of the drone systems, such as steering, brakes and engine controls, could be checked. This first test run was considered a considerable and positive step forward by Boeing and the Royal Australian Air Force alike. Shane Arnott, Boeing's ATS program director, explained exactly how the loyal wingman works. Most of the interaction by the human is really in the mission planning. The test pilot was in the loop throughout, he gave commands at each phase, if you will, taxi, take off and return, and it's almost as simple as that. He further added that the drone's AI capabilities were not a priority during these initial tests. So what's the next step from here for all this crazy new drone technology? The loyal wingman class of drones, whether Boeing's ATS or the Vicaria AUAV being developed by Kratos, have particular significance for the sixth generation of jet fighters that are already in development. These next-age fighter jets could benefit greatly from UAVs aiding them in close proximity, in what is conceptually referred to as a manned-unmanned teaming, or MUM-T. The AI and machine learning embed in the loyal wingman drones will greatly enhance the capability of manned fighter jets, being able to control them, especially considering that sixth-generation fighter jets will also have their own sophisticated AI on board. Analysts believe that the flight lead or manned jet in control could command multiple UAVs to conduct their own autonomous missions while still under the control of the lead manned aircraft. These multiple drones or drone swarms could pack a powerful punch in aerial combat, reconnaissance and intelligence gathering. This is all testament to what the Australian Strategic Policy Institute saw as clear evidence that the fourth industrial revolution in defence capability has arrived, and it most certainly has. So far I've been upbeat and positive, but are there any flaws with this new technology? 
There is no loyal wingman yet in active service, and their reliability continues to be in question. Also, air crew are notoriously skeptical of any unmanned aircraft which they have to work with, and the loyal wingman is an unpiloted machine. And it's that fact about machines that we need to discuss. In popular culture, machines have long been untrustworthy, especially when they're given the capability to kill. We only need to look at the movie Stealth in 2005, which is about an AI pilot that almost starts a war with North Korea. Or perhaps Call of Duty that shows what happens when a drone army falls into the wrong hands. Even futurologists like Elon Musk is afraid of the technology, saying, robots will be able to do everything better than us. I have exposure to some of the most cutting edge AI, and I think people should be really concerned by it. But this UAV technology has already arrived, and its inclusion in air surveillance and scouting, air combat and other operations is inevitable. We have already seen the NQ Reaper drones in action, and tests have shown them very effective with air-to-air -air missiles. A fact that Turkish drones like the Bayraktar literally changed the tide of war in Libya and the Armenia-Azerbaijan conflict, flying above the battle zone, drawing fire and revealing enemy positions. Furthermore, the technology of the loyal wingman and its ilk will not be slow and lumbering like any other aircraft in the military. Not a chance. Rather, the evolution of the loyal wingman will be like that of the smartphone. Fast and furious. And if you want to be fast and furious just like me, then jump onto Patreon or become a channel member to support Found and Explained. With your membership, you get access to videos early, helping choose topics, and even get to talk to me direct on the Discord. So jump on and check it out, and thanks so much for watching.